Okay, the next exercise we're going to do is called hip lifts. And what you're going to do is squeeze the muscles all around your tailbone to lift your tailbone to the ceiling. You're going to let the rest of your body hang limp, kind of like a hammock, just relaxed. No tension in your low back. Feet flat. And then when you lower, lower one vertebra at a time until your tailbone is the last thing to hit the surface. Good. Okay, we'll go again. Squeeze all the muscles around your tailbone to lift your tailbone to the ceiling. We're trying to learn how to differentiate the muscles in the back part of our hips from our low back. For many people that have low back pain, anytime they use any muscle in their hip, their back muscles tense up immediately. So we want to teach our low back to be able to not be the dominant muscles, to actually let those muscles relax and release while our hip muscles are still contracted. That's the point of this exercise. Okay, go ahead again, squeeze the muscles around your tailbone. Think about reaching your knees out to create space in your hips as you lift. Keep, and then start squeezing in on the ball while you're up. Now, if you squeeze on the ball and it makes you contract your back muscles and start to lift, don't do it. The whole point of this is to learn how to use our hips independent of our back. And then every time, lower one vertebra at a time all the way down till we get to our tailbone. One last time. Squeeze the muscles around your tailbone to lift your tailbone up to the ceiling. Reach your thighs, your femurs out of the hip socket. Keep your feet grounded. Squeeze in on the ball and count one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, and then lower slowly. Now this exercise uses also a more superficial, larger muscle group, so you don't have to do as many reps of this one. If you can just get three sets of 10 of this one, that's great.